Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to prove that how we can find the maximum bending moment of a beam with a uniformly distributed load. So we will find or we will prove this formula that the maximum bending moment for a simply supported beam with a uniformly distributed load is WL square by 8. This is a very a known formula for a simply supported beam which is mostly in our real life uh, situation as well so here is the load w is uniformly distributed load acting on this beam and the length of the beam is l so there's a simply supported beam so here is a hinge support we can see here a for example and there's a rotor support b so this both can take vertical reaction so the whole load will be resisted here r a and here will be rb because the vertical load is acting so it will take the vertical reaction the moment at this point will be equal to zero because the rotor and hinge support cannot take any moments so this is the first step the next is now to convert the uniformly distributed load into pointed load now we know that this is w is uniformly distributed load now to convert this into pointed load we have to multiply this w which is a uniformly distributed load with the length of the beam so this will come out w into l now this l is now a pointed or concentrated load this is a pointed or a concentrated load which will act at the center of the beam so this load is now a pointed load w into l and this is now acting at the center of the beam or in other words how you can know that this is a pointed load so we know that the w load is uniformly distributed load in kilonewton per meter multiplying with the length of the beam which is also in meter so meter meter will be cancelled so you see here that the unit of this is kilonewton you see here w l into kilonewton so kilonewton means before it was kilonewton per meter but now it is kilonewton it means it's a pointed load it is not distributed so that's why we see here that is pointed load w l so now this is acting at the center of the beam so there are two support conditions and it will act at the midpoint because it is uniformly it was uniformly so now the half load will be distributed here so it will be wl by 2 half load will be distributed here wl by 2 this is a simple mechanics the half load will be distributed at one point and half load at another point now we have to draw the shear force diagram for these two support reactions so here is the shear force and here is the bending moment for example this is the shear force we can represent it by v in kilonewton so now how to draw the shear force diagram so this r a w l by 2 is acting in upward direction we see here so now it is zero zero reference so now it will move in upward direction how much magnitude w l by 2 and then there is a load distributed load acting in downward direction you see here till the middle of b so now it will be equal to the it will bring this load to zero here at the midpoint exactly at this place where the load is acting because it was a uniformly distributed load so now it will act here at zero and then it this load will again try to make it a negative so it will negative shear force so now this is positive shear force this is negative shear force and here this magnitude was also w l by 2 so here it will be also in negative direction w l by 2 so this is the way of shear force now with the help of this we will draw the bending moment diagram we know that the load that the length of the load here this is acting at the midpoint so this is acting at l by 2 from here and l by 2 from here so this is l by 2 is the distance from the load from the pointed load to the supports so this is also l by 2 and this is also l by 2 so now to find out the bending moment we have know that this is zero reference lines because it cannot take any moment the moment is always in kilonewton meter and now we have to find out the area of the triangle because bending moment can be found out from shear forces so we just have to find the area of this triangle in area of this triangle this will be our bending moment so now to find out that this area of triangle it will give us the maximum bending moment here at this point so we choose this triangle this triangle okay so how the area of this triangle the area will be equal to the 
half base into height triangle area so half base is this is by 2 multiply with the height height is w l by 2 w l by 2 so now if you solve this it comes out to be 2 into 2 4 into 8 so it will be 8 and a w into l square because 2 l are there so you see here the area is w l square and if you find the area of this triangle which will be acting here at this point so the area so it will shows us the bending moment like in this way a maximum bending moment will be here which is equal to the area of the shear force which is w l square by 8 now so here the same it will be negative so this is a maximum bending moment which will be acting at the midpoint of the beam with a magnitude of w l square by 8 which was our main task here in this video so hope you guys understand how to find out the maximum bending moment or how to find or to prove this maximum equation for the bending moment and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video